Hi, and welcome back to Multiplicity Crafts. Today I'm going over some money-saving tips for crafters that I think will be helpful for you. So we'll begin with the first tip. This is in random order, and that is to buy single low-cost items. So what I mean by that is you'll see here in my cart, I've just bought a bunch of single 12 by 12 paper sheets, and I threw in a freebie there as well at the bottom. So basically, I just buy these single low cost items and cut them into fourths or whatever size I need and I make my cards or whatever craft that I am wanting to make out of them. That way it's a lot cheaper than buying a full paper pad and I can still get a ton of cards. You can see here that my Christmas in July card making is actually complete, believe it or not. And so I got a lot of pretty cards out of the papers I had, as well as some in my stash. And it actually wound up being quite money saving for me because I was just buying the single 12 by 12 sheets. So by doing so, I saved quite a bit of money. If you'll notice there at the bottom of the screen, my total or subtotal was $4.24. So if you do the math, that's 20 Christmas cards for $4.24. That's like only 21 cents a card. You can't beat that. Okay, so my next tip is to shop off season and holiday sales. So this might be a given, but you don't wanna forget the holidays that maybe we don't think of like President's Day and Columbus Day, things of that nature, there are normally sales on those days, at least here in the U.S. So I have compiled a list here of holidays that I have found there to be some pretty good sales on. Now Black Friday is going to be the one you want to hit for sure. My next tip is to get cash back on your purchases. Now, without sounding too much like an infomercial, I do want to recommend Rakuten. It used to be called Ebates, um, but now it's Rakuten. And you can actually earn cash back on your craft purchases. And so I use this. I have a referral link below if you want to use mine. If not, that's fine. But it will help me if you do. But anyway, here's just some of the stores that sell crafts that you can get cash back rebates on your purchases. My next tip is take advantage of your discounts. Now, what I mean by that is you may be eligible for certain discounts depending on who you are. You may be eligible for a military discount, perhaps a teacher discount, depending on your age, maybe even a senior citizen discount, or possibly a student discount. So don't forget those things when you go to check out whether online or in store. Military offers discounts at Michael's, Joann Stores, Office Max, and that's all <laughs> that I could find. Uh, teachers, you can get discounts at Staples, Crayola.com. You can also get discount if you're a teacher at Ben Franklin Crafts, Joann Stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Blick Art Materials. If you are a senior citizen, you can get a discount at Michaels. That's the only one I found for senior citizen. Student discounts are available at Ben Franklin Crafts, as well as Joann Stores. So again, be sure to take advantage of your discounts. Okay, my next tip is to enter giveaways and contests. So this is a way to get some craft supplies for free if you win. You can enter giveaways on social media platforms, as well as craft blog hops. They're going on all the time. Also, if you want to enter contests, you can do that through the Creative Scrapbooker magazine online, as well as monthly challenge contests. 
I'll have a full list of those on my blog. So if you go up to my tab that says giveaways, coupons, and more, and just scroll down about, well, actually I was going to say midway, but I think it's more towards the bottom now. I have a list of different challenges and contests that you can enter on there. And so you'll see there I'm kind of scrolling down where you can see, and I have all those linked. So that might be a good resource for you. I'll have all that in the description box for you to easily click on. Next up, don't forget to use those coupons and promo codes. I know that there are certain stores like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joey and Craft Stores. They will usually have store coupons available. You can find them online, in newsletters, or maybe even in their app. So you might want to look at those places. Also, craft promo codes can be found at Retail Me Not, Groupon, Coupon Cabin, places like that. So be sure to check on those websites before you check out. Remember, another good tip, shop freebies. Yes, there are places that actually offer freebies. On my blog, I do have a list of those that you can enjoy. Uh, printables, classes, things of that nature. Also, another good tip is if you are shopping on scrapbook.com, you'll almost always be able to add a freebie to your cart with no purchase necessary. And my final tip is don't forget to beg. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but really, ask and you shall receive sometimes. That's the case. So... I have this little begging, pitiful looking puppy dog saying, please, please, can I have craft supplies for my birthday or Christmas, Mother's Day, whatever holiday. So there you have it. I hope these tips were helpful for you. If so, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed for future videos. I'll be having an actual craft video coming up in August where there will be a surprise giveaway. So I will see you next time.